Hi, I'm Rick Buschel. This is You Can Cook, and today we're going to cook Turkish pide. Stick around. <music> Turkish pie. If you like pizza, you're absolutely going to love this if you've never had Turkish pie. And I call it pied, but it's actually pide. Um, I should know better because I've been to Turkey. T cooking Turkish pie is like is, is exactly like cooking pizza when it comes to your ingredients. Whatever your imagination can come up with, that's what you use. It, and no matter what, it's going to turn out absolutely delightful. But today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite Turkish pides. And I've just got some lamb, uh, lamb pieces here. I purchased a lamb leg, and this is about half of it because it's just too much for, what, for my wife and I. And the other half will, will probably go into a curry. I've got one onion. Um, I'm going to probably put in two, three, maybe four cloves or a little of garlic. I'm going to put a little bit of cinnamon bark in there. The, actual, the magic ingredient, sumac. I've got some pomegranate molasses. And I've also got some date syrup, the real stuff. And I've got some bits of chopped up dates. To guarantee super melt-in-the-mouth uh, tender meat, I'm going to braise this lamb with these uh, flavorings for at least two hours. I'll check it at the end of two hours and because I want it just falling apart. These are the lengths I go to just to ensure that it is that tender. Over to the stove. The first thing that I do is I'm going to fry off the meat. I'm going to, I'm going to fry the crap out of it because I know that it's going to get tender over time. But I fry it up and I'm not too worried about, normally I wouldn't do this in a uh, stainless steel pan, but I know that it'll work. So it's a fairly high heat. It's going to sweat, so there's going to be lots of moisture coming out of that meat. We're going to keep frying that until all that moisture evaporates and all you're left with is the meat and the oil that you started with. That's when we start adding in all the good stuff. Okay, this has only taken maybe an hour and a half. Hasn't been quite the two hours. Now what I've done there, you see how I've cooked the meat until there's no moisture whatsoever in it. I've added my liquid, which was in this case uh, beef stock, and that's simply because I had it in the fridge. I put in the onions and I put in the garlic. I've added my date syrup. I've added my pomegranate syrup. I put in the, I put in the chopped up dates. I put in my sumac and some pepper and some salt. Okay, we're just going to simmer that now down for probably at least two hours. I started checking it after about an hour. I knew then it wasn't going to take two hours. Um, and probably the last 15 or 20 minutes I've taken the lid off to get rid of the moisture. And this is pretty much how I want it. I'm going to take this off the burner, cool it down, and we'll put these together. Our lamb is cooled. We're going to put these together. I haven't done any showing you how to make dough. It's just a basic pizza dough. It's so simple. There's probably 13 million recipes on making basic pizza dough on YouTube. So get yourself on YouTube and find that. But otherwise, I'll have a link to one of them uh, down below. I've made enough dough for four Turkish pies, and this is all I do. And I wouldn't stress too much about the shape, but you want them oblong at the very least. Probably a, a word of advice is if you've never done it before, probably the smaller you make them, the easier they are going to be for you to handle them. And I use polenta, or you can use flour, but for some reason I use polenta to keep them from sticking on my tray. Pile them up, leave yourself a nice edge all the way around, especially at the tips, the ends. I can't tell you how it smells, it smells so nice let alone how it tastes. It tastes so nice. So that's it. Might sprinkle some more cheese on that when I put that on my tray. Very quickly. So 
some extra cheese. And the last thing I do is I just put uh, an egg wash over the edges. And this is optional, does make it look prettier. I guess a bit of authenticity, being Turkish, is you sprinkle over some onion seeds or nigella seeds. You could use sesame seeds. You could use no seeds. Your oven has to be very hot. The perfect temperature for my stove or my oven is about 220. At 250, it's just too hot. Each oven is different, so you'll have to figure out your own oven. But you want to put it in there for about roughly 20 minutes, no, probably no longer than that. You want that cheese to be bubbling and just starting to turn golden brown in bits and in places. I just got a call from my daughter. I think I spoke for a few minutes too long. These are probably more done than I actually would like, but they're still going to taste absolutely divine. Let's cut those. Now remembering those are made from lamb, I've got some mint and some spring onions chopped up, and that's all I'm going to put on there. Look, you'd serve that with some limes or lemons. Give that a go. Uh, and just like pizza, look, put anything in there you want. It's like what I, what I always say, it's your kitchen, get in there. Whip up something, make that dish yours. Don't be afraid to try in some new stuff. Okay, just cook some great food. I'm Rick Michelle. This is You Can Cook. See you next time.